Hey out there, uh, if you're looking to watermark footage, uh, whether for a project for a client or you're uploading to social media and you want to protect that footage or add your branding to it, I'm going to show you how to do it in an easy way. There's a ton of ways to do it, but I'm going to show you one easy way to do it. And it's going to be, uh, I'm going to show you in two parts. Essentially, one is applying the uh, watermark slash um, uh, branding to your footage. And then I'm gonna show you when you export what you need to make sure you have checked when you're exporting that media out. So let's just jump straight into the computer. So I have a project open, it's about two minutes long. And what I wanna do is uh, add some watermark because I'm uploading it to YouTube. And so I like to use the text or the title skirt, title um, for this purpose. So I just drag a, A, uh, a title onto the footage then I'll just and you can use whatever title that you want to use then I'll just uh, position it put it out of the way pick a font that I like then I'll just add whatever I want you can you can do whatever you want you can call it you know you can use your website address or some sort of socials or whatever you want um, just add it in. I'm going to call it black box demo reel for now. So I'm going to drop the size of the font. Then what you do is you just drag it to the end of the timeline. Maybe you want it to fade out. Fade in. So that's there now. Uh, so that was super easy. Now if you want to put your logo on, you just also drag it onto your timeline. Like so, then you just have to size it. So shrink it down. Put it where you want. I'm going to go on the opposite side this time. Drop it down here. So that's on there now. And, uh, you can you can change the uh, how you format this on here. For example, I can drop the opacity down just to sort of make it so it's not so noticeable. And like the title, I just have to drag it to the end of the clip. Maybe I'll also have that fade out a little bit like everything else. This is now ready to be uploaded to YouTube or you know whatever other project that I want to use to it use it for and um, so that'll work. Now, when you're exporting, the uh, thing to remember to do is to go into your, um, so you can put it, set it however you want, but go into your uh, subtitle settings here on the custom export page, click export subtitle. And then what you wanna do is you want it to, to burn into the video. This will make it one single file so that it will be burnt into the footage and then you just add it and render it out that way thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one take care